<laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, were you just teetering on the end of the- Wait. I thought it hadn't loaded yet. <laughs> Wait. Don't let me go in. Wait. Oh, you are lagging badly. Really? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, you're in the vault floating for me. Oh, no. Wait, that's weird. I saw you moving, or like oh, me no, moving where on am your... I? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Six obelisks. Jesus Christ. Surely we find all of those. Um... Am Where I moving? Are you oh, right now? Oh, no, Jesus. you're stuck floating oh. for me. It kicked me out. See you later. <laughs> what happens? Can I log back into the vault or? Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Wu Tax, help! Do you use a VPN? No. Almost two whole years. Hope all is well, Pete. There's some fucky business going on this afternoon. It's 9.45. It has not been the afternoon in a very long Good time. Luck. Yo, chat. Hi. Um, I've been on Vol Hunters running Vol Sucara for a uh, car for a little bit. Oh. Um, Hi, Mr. Pizza. Where and we're running I? one more. Uh-oh. You're in purgatory. Well, you enjoy that vault. Oh. Um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> Maybe I should log out until you're... Because I'm at 23 minutes. Oh, maybe. Where are you at right now? 24.35. Oh. oh. Yo? I'm falling through the ground? I see you on the map. Progress? Oh, wait. Let's oh, go. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. Have you ever thought about moving? Um, might move to Vegas. Oh, actually. I have been thinking about moving, yeah. Are you going to be looking for a house there or just staying right there? Yeah, I want to get a house. Hmm. Vegas do have some cheap living. Yeah, I need a house for, for my future snakes. Oh, are you going to be getting a bunch more say? Wait, are you here? I think I'm here. I think right, I'm here. Go. I think I'm here. Okay, let's go. Minus four minutes. It doesn't matter. That's sick, though, because you have, what, two snakes currently? I do, yeah. I want more. I want more. I'm going to start an army. I don't have room. That's why I need a house. That's the only reason. What's right, facing vault? I'm going to I'm gonna be going go north. South. Okay, cool. Yeah, the limitation I've had with snakes was that one elementary school experience where they bring the person with the giant snakes and you just sit and <gasps> learn about big snakes. You? I don't know why they did that exactly, but I feel like that's just something that almost everybody had at some point. I think it's nice. You get to learn about snakes in a nice, safe environment. Or I found a time alter, should I do it? <laughs> the hell? Yeah, my, why not? Okay. It has this thing. Found a blank seal. Fog. Nice. What's up, chat? How y'all doing? So you're not gonna believe us, but I found a... an obelisk. <laughs> what? This is bullshit, man! It does not make sense! I mean, there are six this time. The thing is, though, is that unless they changed it from season two, um... More don't spawn based on the amount required. Like, there's always a oh, static amount. Oh, really? Yeah, or like the amount just varies based on the size of the vault, not by 
how much is needed to obtain. That's why naturally three mm. obelisk vaults are easier than six obelisk vaults. Oh. Hmm. What the hell happened with us then? What the, I what actually the don't know. That was an incredibly easy spot for the obelisk to be too. It might be copium, but I'm coping that those vaults were- I found a second one already. What? Those were bugged. Those no, no, they actually have to be bugged. These are the most dead center in the middle of the room obelisks I've seen in my life. What in the shit? What did you do to those crystals, Kara? <laughs> well, those are level four and this one is a level two. So maybe that's it? What? Wait, that's strange. That's the only thing I can think of that's different. Jeff, for a little bit of backstory, Car and I ran two vaults. I found an altar. What is that one? A time altar? This one looks like a time altar. Was it got on it like a book or? Uh, like a sword or a dagger or something? Uh, probably a. Oh, that's a health altar then. You just give it three hearts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that one for sure. And Wraith. Yeah, chat, we ran two vaults before this. One was a three obelisk kill boss, and the <laughs> other one was a scavenger. Dude, I have never beelined down vault rooms faster in my life. I hit the further, furthest most west and furthest most east of both of those vaults. Did not find a single objective. Where are all these spawning? Found an X mark I'm going to tackle. <laughs> are you kidding me? Hey, how you doing? It's just one of those days, man. Oh my jeez. Oh my god, okay. Now I must go east. <laughs> Someone in chat said, next time, um, ask where you're going to go and then switch with you. <laughs> switch directions. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. It was trapped anyway. Mm. I found five X mark rooms yesterday when I was running like a bunch of vaults and every single one of them were trapped. So in the last two days, I'm 0-6 on those rooms. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, dude, it's so sad, though. Um, Kara and I just had a scav, and we actually got everything that we needed for both of us at, like, nine minutes remaining. So we spent the... Literal remainder of all that time, I was just beelining down different rooms. We must have literally searched 90% of the entire vault. Hide. Did not find a uh, return thing during any of it. It was so sad, man. Um, where am I, chat? <laughs> I've, ne I've never slammed that uh, scavenger harder. It's crazy. We did such a good job on it, man. Hunter Observer, it's... Shouldn't need it, man. Also, I'm stuck here. Am I? Kim says the void. <laughs> I shut the hell up. Obelisk? <laughs> what? Where? Oh, 
Oh, is that the... I don't see a thing. Oh, back one room? No. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Too far. Don't care. Yeah. God, not even like ornate or living or gilded or any kind of chest. What the heck? Oh, so tiny. Hey, nani. Do you remember which way I went? I think I'm like parallel to something. Oh, we went, we have a west east facing, right? Yeah. West. It was from the west. We went east and we went straight out of the vault, right? I think so. Oh, found an obelisk. Number three. That I've definitely gone in a circle. That obelisk was a little tucked away. Where the good chest? I'm just gonna head back. Y'all have two different vault themes? What you mean? What do you mean by that? Oh, mm. times? Oh, yeah. They got DC'd like three million times. So my Man, time's a little bit lower. Now. Oh my god. I have a vault sword that's level four. I can use it now. I totally forgot. Oh, sick. How'd you get that without? Was that a co-op? What do you got? Um, H gave it to me because I bought him a burrito. So for a burrito, <laughs> he gave you a sword that you can't use or couldn't use. Yeah, yeah. Sick. But I can use it now. <laughs> and the burrito, this one's probably already long gone. So hey, it works out. Mm hmm. Exactly. The sword lives on, the burrito is temporary. Hmm, <laughs> what is that chest? The blue chest? Oh, yeah, I got that one already. That was the elf altar. Is H here? I gave you an axe because you couldn't use it. <laughs> Ow! H is here. So, bitch, that was the burrito. Ow, I'm being harassed.
I'm fine, chat. Don't worry. Yeah, chat, pipe down. <laughs> I found a crystal room. Ooh. Ornate up top. Oh boy, 32 days. Oh shit. I go back. Oh. Yo. It's a glowy chest. leggings oh sick let's go okay now i'm getting out of here i want to keep that four minutes dude help me oh the rate alert is so freaking loud one more below <laughs> uh. <laughs> Risking everything. Oh, Hello, where? Oh, you're okay. This one? Okay, now I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm on my fault leggings. Oh, on my opal. Ah! Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> That's where I saw two. Oh, that's the portal, chat. We can chill in here for a sec. I still gotta find the portal. I gotta get back to it. Mm-mm. You motherfucker. I'm on my way back. Fuck away. Cannot hit these stupid tiny guys. Ugh, they suck. There's a lot of sound. What direction was the vault facing again? It is facing the... Um, um, um... Facing south? Right, chat? Is it like a west or an east facing? Facing west? Wait, where am I? Should a sandwich is this be not the vault? Or the... Oh, wait. I have to keep going. 
but are you not at the exit? I thought I was. Uh oh. Now I am. <laughs> oh. It is facing west. It's facing west. I've done an entire loop around it, but I think I'll get there. Should the sandwich be cut diagonal or straight? Well, that just depends on what kind of sandwich it is. Yeah. There is no static answer. Like, if you give me a French dip and cut that diagonally, I'm probably calling the cops. Okay, there's a lot of things here. I'm just gonna get the heck out. I don't want to lose my leggings. Not worth, not worth, not worth, not worth. Are you here? Yo. There you are, there you are. Over here. Oh god, what have you done? There's so many balls. There are a lot of boys. Yeah, hey, watch this. On me. <gasps> Go! 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 Get out of this place. <laughs> get out! Wait, I want these brassiers. <laughs> All right, made out alive. Woo! Nice. I don't know how much time you had left, but I had like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, same, same. Um, okay. So let me give you guys a little rundown of stuff of what we're planning on doing right now, because LulW infrastructure building. Expanded my island just like a tiny bit. I put down some uh I put down some grass here. It's not actually done underneath here because I didn't know if I was gonna like this or not, so I'm just kinda leaving it as temporary. But I wanted more space to do shit because my island was really small and I had no time for exp or like no space for expansion. And I think if I continue expanding the island, I'm probably going to do it out this way because we're pretty much right on the edge of the uh, biome. So I can't do anything else past like this little line right here anyway because for some stupid reason, the entire biome is this fucking banana boomerang ass that's not even the island, but apparently this is the island. So I'm probably going to expand out the island this way in the future, move this somewhere. But I wanted to at least cover this up here because I didn't really like the... Pretty much, if you look at this, all of the grass that's receded below is new. Before, the island cut off, like, pretty much right here. So I gave myself some room to do shit. As for what I'm going to put here? I don't know. But for right now, it's there. I don't know if I'm going to, like, move my villagers up here or... Just kind of feel like doing that. But, for what we're doing today, I'm going to try and unlock my first mod today. And I have a... I haven't been recording. We're unlocking our first mod today. I'm I'm putting my foot down and making sure that I can do it. Because I was watching Iskel's stream from when I was live last night. And, uh, yeah, I kind of fell in love. Where is it? We're going with Simple Storage Network. This is a organized, searchable inventory storage that uh, does not take power, but I watched this gal running it. Dude, I'm doing it immediately. Are you kidding me? I'm tired of sorting through chests. I don't care about vault compass right now, waste zones, whatever, everything else. I want organized storage. So I'll probably just like chuck all the chests underground and have the pipes going up. So it'll just be like a tiny little points where we can grab things from. But yeah, I just... I, I've I played Vault Hunter Season 2. I played Vault Hunter Season 3. Although there are less things on the altar on this season than there are last, and the quantity is definitely lower. I'm not... Oh, this is terrible. I'm not organizing. Are you kidding me, man? Who organized their chests, man? So, let's go ahead and take a look at this, because I'm pretty sure I've got more than enough knowledge essence to be able to run some of this down. I might have enough for three. Let's see. Oh my god, I'm so close. Well, unless these can be... No, they can't. Alright. 26 knowledge shards. Wait. Oh no, they only take 8. Oh no, we have enough for 3. Okay, cool. Um... Knowledge... Core. That is 8 vault diamonds and extraordinary benetite. Anyway. Um... I'm just gonna slam down all but one benetite ore that I have and see what I have to work with here. Because the hope is that at the very least I get 32 from 25. Surely I get 32 from 25. <laughs> hey. Uh, 
You know what I mean, right? That's already a pretty good start. Keep it going! Over a stack? Oh! You know what? That kind of makes up for us breaking three painite ore and getting nothing. How many ores was that? Was that 25? Roughly around there? You know what? For returns on Vault Ores, everything I remember the values being in Season 2, and it feels like the values are around the same. That ain't 27 around that time? That's not bad. So that's 67. Then we need, what, 16 for... Oh, dude, we're good. Are you kidding me? We're actually, like, more than good. Okay, cool. So we need Vault Ashes as well, which we have 28 of. Oh my god. This is kind of a big deal. So, Shornary Benetite. Two of those. Throw them down. Make some knowledge cores. Chuck those in. Spring it around. Knowledge stars. Oh my god, he's doing it. It looked too good. I had tuned into this guy's stream for five seconds and it convinced me. Feel strong, man. What a what a what a shining moment, man! I don't have to organize anything. Yes. <laughs> so I've I've never used this mod before. Again, the very limited thing that I've seen from it was just the interface that Iskel had. So let's give a little rundown of the cost of this. We know that Laramar is the modded gem, pretty much. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the music, pretty much, while we're just kind of explaining things. So. Basic stuff here. We got storage inventory, inventory access to the crafting grid. That's link cables, chromatic steel nuggets, and Laramar. Link cables are made with network cables and driftwood. Network cables are made with chromatic iron ingots and brown stained glass. So before I get into any of that, I should probably smelt up the four stacks of uh, this. Do we need any of this for anything? We don't want to be using that right now. So we got that. Then do I have any wood in here that I am okay with using for... I prefer not to use the coconut logs. I think I'll probably just grab some of the logs that I got down here from the spruce farm. Got a few more crabs in the island from the extra trees that I had around. This should be fine. Uh, actually, just one stack should be okay. I should know this with the speedrunning that I've done, just general Minecraft knowledge, but I think a stack of wood should be fine with a stack of items. I think that should be... Oh, I've already got some in here as well, too. All right, well. Didn't even need to go and do that, but I guess we're refueling. Help you. All right, chuck that in there. Get going for me, please. I don't have a time in a bottle. Deal with it. Okay. Throw this into here. Is the Vault Hunter's manual now? Yeah, I think Iskel said that it's in the works right now, so I'm not going to look into it or read it. So I think they're working on it. So yeah, I'm not going to mess with that too much, but anyway. So storage inventories, link cables, you just connect the inventory to the network, and then network cables, these are the basic ones, and that's just a lot of glass. Thankfully, we have village traders to make a ton of glass. There's link cables, import cables, imports all items from attached inventory into the network. Uh, filtered import cables, imports items with filtering options. Cool. Then filtered link cable, inventory link with filtering options. Don't know if we'll be doing any filtering, to be honest with you. And then it exports items from the network into the attach attached inventory. Um, and then there's a storage network root. Use one of these per network. That's made with the vault diamond. Compressed blocks of quartz. Interesting. Might need to go get some of those. And then just link cables. And then the, uh, the prime block in here is the storage request table. Use the overview and request items from the network. This one is a little bit out of reach for us. Because we haven't found a miner room. Requires a pog. And the storage inventory and some chromatic steel, uh, nuggets. We have... We're close to being able to make a pog. Technically, I haven't mined these up, so I don't know if I'm going to get zero yield on them or not. But I do have one Bombing Knight Ore, one Sparkle Teen Ore, one Tubium, one Upaline, and two Xenum, and two Escalium. And then I have Gorgonite Gems and Pizza Knight Gems. The only thing that I don't have is Ashium. And I don't know if anyone has Ashium. I don't know if Aiden has Ashium. So I'm not going to worry about making the storage request table right now. And I also don't know if I'd want to use my first Pog on that anyway. There's a few things this can craft. Maybe we probably would, I mean, to just make the model a little bit more simple. But, yeah, we'll just kind of hold off on that. 
But let's see. Oh, this should be more than enough to get some cables built up here. Oh, yeah, I think we are sitting very happy right now. And then I should have a good amount of glass just chilling in the chest. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Let's make... Oh, that actually makes six as well, too. Yeah, you know, I think, like, that'll probably be... If anyone else on the server needs some network cables, you know, let them know I got them. Alright, and then we need link cables used to connect inventory to the network. So one of those on each chest. Network cables and driftwood. That's the thing. We haven't used a lot of driftwood, but I knew as soon as we got into mods, man, like, we were gonna need... We were gonna need some of this. And that gives four. Let's make 32 for right now. That's a lot of chests. Because I'm assuming you would just need one for an inventory. Um, import cables, import solid items from attached inventory into the network. So I'm assuming that we're gonna need... Because we don't have a storage request table, I'm probably gonna need an import and an export cable. So... What do you need for that? You know, hopper. Hopper and some cables. Bang, 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 bang. Thanks for the hopper. Thank you for the time. Perfect. Good. And the export cable was... Oh, piston. Good one. I probably don't have any cobble, do I? It's gonna be a while before I have to ask that question to myself. Because we're gonna have a storage network, baby! Um, okay. Let's see. What's up, zombie? Redstone, iron, and three out planks. Perfect. Chuck me down a piston, please. Thank you very kindly. Hey. Oh, he. That was a bit rude, I'm sorry. Alright, we got an export cable, storage inventory is chromatic steel nuggets and link cables, and a Laramar gem. Alright. Chromatic steel nuggets and the rest of those. So we'll make one of you. And then the storage network roots, link cables, compressed blocks of quartz, and the vault diamond. I know I've gotten some quartz in the past. Do I have any... Do I still have those? Don't know if that'll be enough for compressed. I should have more. Uh, possible. Oh, I think we're... Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. So, yeah, that requires what? Let me just make sure again. That's just a block of quartz, and that's just four of the... Oh, yeah, we know we literally have more than enough. Okay, cool. So, we do that. Chuck it down there. Seven of you. Storage network. Roots. Perfect. Do a mob? No. And the network exchange interface, endpoint of the network for inventory connections. Warning, laggy on large networks, endpoint of the network for inventory connections. Might as well make you and then see where you need to go. And then items inserted enter the network, network collection interface. Oh, cool, okay. And so that requires storage inventories. So we'll need to make a couple of these then, right? Storage inventory, storage inventory. Okay, we can make two of those then. Two more of you, and that requires the Laramar and Chromatic Steel. Thank you for the filter time, appreciate it. Uh, Laramar, please. Thank you, and then eight Chromatic Steel. Gotta remember the uh, scroll wheel thing that I was taught just a little bit ago. Okay, so two more of you, so we got three of those, perfect. Stack upgrades require... Let's see, speed upgrade. Oh... <laughs> I get it. Compress block of gold, link cable, and compress block of redstone. Okay, that's not that's not terrible to be honest with you. Well actually Hmm. It does get a little expensive because speed of importing and exporting requires one of these, and one stack upgrade requires one of these. The network exchange interface requires four. So that's eight of the speed upgrades. So 16 blocks of 16 times nine. That'd be like a hundred and is that 144? 144 gold. That's not like a ton of gold, just maybe loot a bastion. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Am I doing that wrong completely? Compressed block of 
Never mind. No, actually, I'm completely stupid. No, it's significantly more than 144 ingots. Um, try 144 gold blocks. Maybe unless I've gotten that wrong. Yeah, and that's not ingots, bud. So anyway, um, what else do we have here? So increase the size, stack size of task. Increases the speed of importing and exporting. Slows down the speed of importing and exporting. Interesting. So I'm thinking what I want to... Well, let's at least just test this first before I build a giant thing. Because if it functions, then that's good. That's all I need. But I'd rather not build an entire system and then have no idea how it works. So let's just do a little mucking around. Double chest here. Export signs from the network into attached inventory. Link cable. So assuming that the link cable would go behind here. Perfect. And the network cable would go somewhere off of that. These are some thick cables. Sorry. Um, okay. Storage network root. Use only one per network. I don't know exactly what you are, but I want you to... Frick. I want you to go there. Five network cables and one link cables. 54, 6. Okay. So that just gives information about the network. Cool. Storage inventory. Inventory access without a crafting grid. Okay. Okay. Easy enough. Got it. And so if I throw some network cables into here and a little bit of compressed netherrack and a chest. All right. And... Oh. Oh. That's just literally it. <laughs> sort direction, sort by name, and JEI search. You can just take the items out. And that just goes into your inventory then. I figured you would need the export and import kit. Imports all items from attached inventory into the network. I imagine it's just for, like, greater dumping, but, like... That's fairly easy. Okay. You know, I don't know what I expected, but this really is simple storage. <laughs> well, cool. Okay. Yeah, so... Oh, hey. Goodbye. I guess, like, the other stuff for the importing and exporting is when you get a bit more technical. But I figured that maybe this was just for, like, an overview of things. And that the storage request table is a combination of importing and exporting that Escale was using. And that, you know, you would need, like, a different thing for importing it. But I don't know how it would actually work, but this makes sense now. Okay, that's literally insanely easy. So, if we're going to have all these... Well, actually, let me check this out here first. Storage inventory. Can we have multiple of these in the same network? So, like, if we do this... Oh my god, we can. Does that take longer? That doesn't take long. Well, it's not really that long, to be honest, but... All right, cool. So as long as we lay down cables, we can access this from anywhere, so long as we have these storage inventories. God, for entry point of this, like, I understand it's simple storage, but for an entry point, this is dirt-ass cheap. <laughs> like, I know the, the network cables are what? Driftwood, network cable, chromatic iron, and glass? And then this is just one Laramar, yeah. four cr Actually, you know what? If I hadn't have ran as many vaults as I did, this probably wouldn't be nearly as easily accessible to me. I feel like running the amount of vaults that I have, this is affordable in that context, but I could see it being expensive for someone who hasn't run as many vaults as me. I think I think this is good balancing of, um, of uh, uh, requirements for the... Yeah, it's good. Um, okay. So, yeah, this is great. Alright. Well, in that case, then, as I was thinking about, this little spot right here is kind of where I wanted to have the network storage for everything, but if we can have different different storage bits, then I can just put a bunch of those everywhere. Just run some cables. So now all it kind of comes down to is I just need to, uh, I just need to find a location where I'm going to store every one of my chests. And by that, I mean, like, 1,700 million of my chests. And I would imagine that after time, changing that over would probably not be the easiest thing. If I'm gonna keep this that I, like, this that I have right here, I could probably just pop down a shit ton of chests underneath this here, and then eventually cover it up and drain the water later. 
Underground chests? Well, yeah, that's what I want. I want the chests out of sight. And we just have a couple of the storage bits on our island, so you never see any of the chest inventory. And anything that we get from vaults, I can just drop it into, uh... Oh, well, you know what? So here, let me test something, because if this works the way that I think it does, then I'm in love with this mod already. If I throw in some compressed netherrack into here and some network cables... And then where would be my import cable? If I chuck an import cable onto this, Damn 32 and I put a shulker a box time. onto here. So I see where the speed difference is. <laughs> I see why having uh, speed upgrades would be kind of needed, but okay, cool. So we could just have like literally a drop off spot where I just chuck shulkers down after a vault run is over. And it just loads up into the inventory and we're good. That's having a little bit of a problem time. So stack upgrade increases the stack size of task. So I'd imagine that this means it would do more than one item at a time. And then increases the speed of importing and exporting. That again is compressed blocks of gold, blocks of redstone, link cable. How much gold do I even have? I don't have redstone either. How much gold do I even have right now? If only I had a inventory sorting mod to be able to help me know that. Alright, 1 of 18. 1 of 18 blocks. 3 of 18 blocks. Alright, I got barely anything. <laughs> I think I've got a little bit of gold down here. Yeah, so like, we're not exactly, um... We're not exactly doing the best with, uh... With gold. Cleric sell redstone. I speed ran 114 for probably about a year and a half, brother. I'm well aware of what clerics sell. Trying to make a gold farm? Well, if we're going to make a farm for it, the nether going out tomorrow would probably be a good time to be doing that, huh? I don't know if I'm going to get right on a gold farm immediately, but I'll probably be, uh, I'll probably get, like, some other farms done first. But a gold farm is something that I would like to get online relatively quickly. But yeah, this is cool, dude. Okay, so... We're just gonna have a ton of time right now to just set up some underground inventory and work off that. Okay, cool. Let's transfer some stuff over, man. So, yeah, here's what I wanted to try out then. I want to try out the Vault Altar as an option. And I'm not going to set anything up just in case it doesn't work right now, but let me just do a very basic... Wait. At... Does simple not come up, but storage does? Anyway, give me this, and let me check this here. I'm assuming I'll need a filter, but I want to see how this behaves. So throw you onto there. Okay. Demote priority, smaller goes first. Always on, import contents as filter. Alright, so redstone, always on. Interesting, okay. So if I was to take an apple, so what do we have here? Slowness, speed, stack, stock upgrade. Keeps consistent stock of items in the attached inventory. Cool. Operation upgrade. Process the amount of items in the filter. Can override other upgrades. Interesting. I don't know exactly what that means. Single net upgrades and stacks out as a test of one, and that's literally it. Okay. And point of the network for inventory connections. Items inserted enter the network. Okay. Alright, so if I was to just do this then. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, it works just based off the filter that way. That's kind of cool. I mean... So the thing is, is that I would need to go into the inventory anyway. Because I have to pull an item out and then put that item into the filter. And then delete that item from the filter instead of chucking it into the altar itself. If you have four inputs, there's 72 options that can go in. Yeah, so what's this, 18? We... It would look kind of funky. But this actually has six inputs, because we can do top and bottom. We just need one side to have the button, which could be the front. So we could definitely configure this. Yeah, we could have one on every single side and then just put every item that we find into the filters and work that way so it's automatic. Yeah, literally, why would I not do that? Okay. Let's cut the suggestions for right now. <laughs> First of all, that should mean that unless I've somehow missed the wine item that we needed up here. Now we're good. Okay. You guys remember when we did something similar to this back in season two? It was a little bit later in the productivity stage. We had a bit more infrastructure than we do currently. But that means that we have a little bit more fun with this one. Now that we got our uh, storage network finished. At least for right now, until I get a mine room and maybe be able to make a pog and then we could have the crafting terminal. At least we could have a crafting terminal just right here. I know we have multiple points, but one of them would be nice at the very least. Okay, sick, dude. That was, uh, hey, first mod unlock. That was pretty damn worth it, man. I, I completely forgot about the whole exporting into the altar deal and like that underground area. If I had known that from the beginning, man, I would have unlocked this, like, five days ago. But never a bad time to have done it. Oh, sick, man. Alright, cool. Not sure off in there. What do we got? Everything in here? Cool. That's all settled and sorted. Shulker boxes are emptied. No, they're not. Oh my god, wait a minute, I didn't finish setting everything up. Um... I didn't finish setting everything up at all. Import cable. So... I might have to make this a little bit cleaner, but like if I just chuck this on here... That takes a little bit, huh? Yeah, that's the speed upgrades and stuff with the compressed gold and everything. I'll need to get a better... I actually... Hmm. I've got a much better idea in my brain already of how I'm gonna have this look so it's not in the ground. Yeah. I actually think I'm going to do that right now. Um...
Maybe that would look funky. But I was honestly thinking about... Having it just, like, stick out here. And then we could just, like, chuck a shulker on there. And then we just grab it again. <laughs> and then, um, this is what, Vault Cobblestone? We could have it, like... Yeah, because that would probably need to go down, right? Looks like a probe? I mean... You know? Should I have someone with a cable on it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does this look like a extend the arm in a budget film? Uh, like the main villains using like, I'm gonna... <laughs> You know what? It's a conversation starter. <laughs> I'll start directly into the nozzle. Hey, what if I do? Yeah, we're good to go. Alright. You're... Chunky Mobs Vault. Ooh. Have I been here? Hey, was someone mod miserous? I don't think I've ever seen a more base take in my life. If I was still running the vault with Kara and <laughs> Kara, dude, first room, man, I'm losing my it. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, man, listen, we could have had a little bit of fun here. Now you got to go off and do that, man. Said mod me now. Hey, guys. Give me mod. What the? What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Stop doing that. Party low on HP and I just ended the vault! Heck, dude. Alright, man, I won't take the chest. Whatever. Let me alone. No way people are taking the bait right now, man. Oh, no, dude. This is actually kind of a cool... I mean, if you didn't already have these, like, this vault's cool for that. Yeah, first time I've ever gotten this thing. This looks nice. I don't think I've ever seen anybody run this thing either. Some people probably already have, I just haven't actually. I just mean that I haven't seen it before. <laughs> yeah, it would have been useful a little bit ago, huh? <laughs> I'll be taking that with me. Alright, so it was an east-facing vault, and I'm going south, so I'm gonna need to go west to- or I'm gonna need to go north to get back home. If y'all can remember that, that would be great. Less than three. What's that up there? A little living chest? And an ob up here. There's a spawner above my head. Why do all room are same? Yes. Uh, the rooms are the same because that's the new layout style for vaults. Rooms now have a common... Hello. Rooms now have a common theme to them that's seen all around the vaults, and instead of it just being like a bunch of different designs around a bunch of different rooms that are all static, uh, they have varying, like, 50 different, no, 37 different rooms, and about 50 different points of interest in each room that can spawn. So they look the same, 
But that's just the theme. The actual rooms are all very, very different and unique from each other. That's a lot of creepers. That was a good few. Welcome to level 10. Creeper City, man. Oh my god. Oh, I tripped my foot up, man. Surely if he's getting obelisks, he's gonna do the boss, right? <laughs> Around November 26th, zombie. How are you hitting me that reliably? Not been here in a while, why not fight the bosses? They're, um... It's not that... They're like super strong or anything. <laughs> it's just, um, if I'm getting my ass kicked by a single skeleton with a bow, it just kind of terrifies me to think of what a boss can do. That's, that's all really. Oh, so those table changes you leveled up, or are you not really feeling a change? Um,. I'm still kind of getting adjusted. Ooh, Gorgonite. How have I found so much Gorgonite? I have to be incredibly cautious because of the creep rose right there. Don't blow up the... Are you already dead? Yeah, it's already dead. I don't know if I've noticed the loot table change too much. Obviously, the gear scales on level, right? But I don't know about the rest of it all that much, really. Man, I know, like, obviously the, um... Ooh, thank you. I know, obviously, like, the burger ingredients get more plentiful. With, like, the cheddar and stuff. But yeah, outside of that, I guess I haven't really noticed too much. But I don't think I'm paying a super large amount of attention to it. What's up, Zane? How you doing, King? How did the, uh... Post-co-op session of Ragnarok go? Oh, no, you, uh... Yeah, yeah, how was, uh, Skyrim? You were doing Skyrim Car Control, right? Modded? It was silly. I think I can notice a little bit of, like, higher valuables from chests. But also, I don't know how much that has to do with me being a higher level, and how much that has to do with the fact that I have a really high percentage of, uh, item rarity on my gear. Bears and Crabs is saying he yelled, fuck you. That's a VOD money check back then. Not really played Skyrim all too much, but I was curious about how that whole thing worked. What did I see down there? Living chest, that's what I saw. Hey, guys. Oh, calm down. I was wondering if that was going to let me do that. Am I still in the range of that spawner? I think I am. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's make his axe do AoE. Chaining. I have chaining too, so I can hit two additional mobs. What the hell? Three eyes from a single chest. Ow! 
Ow! What? The fuck? Yeah, man, fight a boss. You're not wearing, like, paper armor or anything. Yeah, go fight a boss, dude. It'll surely go well for you. Jesus Christ alive, man. Does my armor suck or something? You can keep the chest. I'm not worried about it, man. Surely I'm not 0 for 7. Surely I don't go 0 for 7, right? I think I'm lagging a little bit. My block placement feels a little weird. Getting faster at building it. What are the odds, man? Clearly... Not green. <laughs> Why does it have to be this shape? It doesn't have to be that shape. If you're talking about like the thing that I do, that's just the way that I can make sure that if the mobs start spawning above me and underneath me, that I could get out without taking any damage. Something's gotta be messed up. This is not normally. Um, I see some cobwebs up there. Not really down for a couple of chests. Oh, spawn as well. Hello, gilded. That's a lot of bookshelves. Nice. There's a second spawner in this bad boy? Nope. Damn, this is a cool structure. Ah, son of a bitch. There you are. Cool point of interest. I hate the hitboxes on these guys so much, man. There's some footsteps around me. I don't think they can reach me, though. It's pretty Omega. They're trying to reach me, though. I don't know. Dude, just throw that at me. Axer ability question mark? Is that a question? Or are you... <laughs> I don't know if that's a question. What times are you in? PST. It's 
starting to lack a little bit of damage, it seems. Oh, I see you over there. Whoa, 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 you deal a lot of damage. Good thing the axe is about shot then. Agreed. What's the chunky modifier do? Mobs have 20% more health. So that also plays a factor in why we're not able to kill as quickly as we normally would. But still, I'd rather one modifier like that. Alright. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I see you down there. A very bare room. Omega ornates. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, boss. Well, I've had better display of skill. Hey there. You know, I'm scared of you, right? I just, I don't know, you freak me out a little bit. Vault Diamond's nice. Vault Diamond's nice. Hey, dude. I understand. I see you behind me now. It's good to be up front with the room. Yeah, do you think so? the spawner on that thing. Don't know where it is. Don't really know if I care. All underneath area. Someone's having a bad day. There you go. I really got out my crossbow charge before I go into points of interest. Just make contact with the damn thing, man. Ow! You bastard. Cut it out. I want to go down there, man. I'm out of here. All 
Oh, we gotta go north a couple to get back home, right, chat? I'm gonna go ahead and hightail it out here now, to be honest with you. I don't think I see any points of interest that I really want to entertain. Might chalk it up to a... Uh, or might just head out to a different vault. This one's been okay. This one's been alright. Not too much to know for, but... Not bad, though. What was the biggest pull we've gotten out of this? Gorge Knight Ore, I guess. And that's the portal room. So I have two skill points at the moment. And I know I said I wanted to work on speed too, and I think I'm still... I still think I feel that way, but I really want to level up Dash like a considerable amount because I'm starting to get comfortable with Dash again. Oh, it's the other way. I'm starting to get really comfortable using Dash again throughout vaults and the cooldown, the 12 second cooldown that it has is kind of, I don't know, it's affecting me a little bit in a bad way, in a way that I don't really like. It would just take a good few skill points to really get dash up to like a super super nice bit, but like you can save some good distance time with dash. But I don't know. I think speed two might still be just the better, safer one to get and then lo consider leveling dash, but I don't know. You wouldn't need rockets? Well, I already don't need rockets as it is. The one dash that I have right now is fine. But just for like vault. Ball maneuvering. I think higher level dash and lower cooldown would be pretty sick. Alright, four minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really attached to this vault. I'm just gonna peace. Alright. Okay. I mean, what do we got? 3600 experience. Just shy of 12. Level 12 by just a bit. That was with the 50% bonus from our trinkets. You know, the owl's looking kind of nice with the bamboo, I'm not going to lie. I might chuck some bamboo around the island just in general, because the bamboo I actually think complements the island pretty well. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Bang! Also, like, obviously, okay, it's not working. I'm fucking stupid. Bro, are you kidding me? I... I <laughs> oh, Christ, this guy, man. What... What coordinate is this? Probably don't need to go in and test then if they're already looking into the issue. But I do wonder because I've never taken a look at the durability itself. I just noticed that these are breaking pretty quickly. That being said, still want to continue crafting axes. Level 11. There we go. For everybody saying that I could level up to 12, it's fine. The difference between level 11 and level 12, I think, is the same. I'm pretty sure it's like in the same uh, range of whatever. So that's good. All right. Run me up, baby. Give me something to play with. Common boy. There's the chaining. 12.5 attack damage. So what are we comparing against? 12.5 in chaining. And we have an empty suffix. 1357 durability compared to 1362. 1 1.1 attack speed. So it's basically already... It's literally the exact same thing except for the minus one chaining. And the suffix. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. I might reforge a couple of times to try and hit chaining and damage. It's very specific, but I think I'm going to. That's 16 damage. I need chaining, though. Baneful and healing plus cloud. I'm good. Spiteful and empty suffix. That's a good one. Stun attack chance and poison plus cloud. 
soulbound and empty prefix. My crafting potential is 15. <laughs> 10 attack speed. Stun attack chance. Soulbound. God damn. That's a beefy boy in terms of damage. Attack speed. That is a heavy hitter. But am I really willing to get rid of chaining? I've actually found that my playstyle is really reflecting chaining because, like, if there's a few mobs in front of me and one of them's a spider, I will oftentimes try and get it to where the spider is immediately behind a zombie and then hit the zombie to deal damage onto the spider. So genuinely, I don't think I can live without chaining. Crime potential negative four, by the way. <laughs> I haven't tried cleave. Cleave we tried in, uh, what was it? Cleave we tried out in the gladiator arena, and that was cleave three. I'll mess around with cleave a little bit. 45 bronze per reroll. Yeah, we were spending a bit of money on that. <laughs> um, but we get to try cleave out and poison plus clouds of tier two. I don't really know if that'll do much, but hey, you know what? There's an option for us. All right, cool. Let's throw uh, efficiency and I'm breaking on this thing. And we'll run it down. Can you craft inside of the terminal? No, because I don't have that item. That requires a pog, and I don't have the ability to make a pog right now. Yo, Tijel! See you in the arena. I got one sub arena that we'll do toward the end. Here. <laughs> Are we back in season two? It's for the scav. I'm doing it for the scav. All right. South facing vault. South facing vault. <laughs> Bro, I was thinking of just leaving. <laughs> These modifiers are a UTI. Real. Actually real. So what do I need? Living chests? Coin piles? It's, it's manageable is the thing. Oh, I hate you. Oh, you're lagging too. This is still a chaining boy for the record. Just for a little bit longer. There is no way you're spawning a bunch of these on me! Jesus Christ. How much does Furious deal increase damage to? Is it 50% or 20%? It's really 20%. 20% mob damage, yeah. We're not in season two anymore. All that for one chest. There is an altar there, though. Life altar. Hey, guys. Thought y'all weren't supposed to spawn with weapons. Oh, so many around! Do need black mob essence, so there you go. It's <laughs> a lot of paper. Check the durability of the axe. Red. Feels good, man. Uh, a little bit more up than down, it would appear. Oh! Step up is a thing, but it's not a talent, it's a trinket. So you can't necessarily just go out and 
spend points to get it. You have to find the trinket, and that's a temporary use type of deal. It's a little painful, I'm not gonna lie, but honestly, the vaults haven't been too terrible without Step Up. But that also might just be me forgetting how good Step Up is and that... Yeah, I probably just... Yeah, Step Up's really nice. Alright, we're going west, so I'm gonna need to head east to get back. Y'all could remember that, please. What is this point of interest supposed to be? Oh, living chest. Cool. Hey. Well, whatever. Oh my god. Hey, hey guys. Ow! What the fuck? Okay, well, I died. Fuck. Romeo, some jams! Let's get another weapon back, yeah? What's our proficiency? Oh, actually, what? Was it 0.3 before, and after crafting another, it was 1.5? Damn, low rolled on the proficiency in the first one, I guess. 3.4? That bar's getting up there a little bit. That bar's getting up there just a tiny little bit. Sauce me up with something good, please. Oh, low rolled on the attack damage, high rolled on the attack speed, durability, 5.5 attack damage, poison plus cloud. Yeah, it's going to turn into another reroll until I get chaining and then I'm just going to lose all my wild focuses that I have. To be fair, I'm not really using a lot of right now. Uh, we can mess with this for a little bit. Not too long, though. Uh, that will do it for me. <laughs> Sick. What you got in here for me? Oh, you gave me an ornate. And also an ornate with a... Oh, okay. We could actually maybe... Hold, oh, hold, 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 hold on. Hold on a little bit. Hold on a second. Now hold on. Now hold on just a minute. Okay, dude. Is it trap? No, it's chunky mobs. What the heck are you doing? I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. Alright. South facing vaults. Literally, I just need gilded at some point and regular chests. I don't need to fight any mobs if I don't want to. That's kind of interesting. I guess. I swear I thought I brought a diamond axe in and I was about to be like, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> How did I let myself bring a diamond axe into the vault? Also, what are you? Oh, I see. Just a point of interest. I thought you were a dungeon. Well, that's the jar taken care of. <laughs> Goblet and zombie hide. Goblet is an epic from Gilded, so I can't say that's the most exciting thing I've ever seen. All right, man. We winning this? It l relies on gilded. Literally, I just beeline the vault for ornate chests around here and gilded's. 
I need to go for an A because I need the opportunity to get uh Valkyr. I think we're gonna have uh, a few jars today. <laughs> All right, so we're headed east. If y'all could remember for me that I need to go west. Get back to the vault. That would be great. Thank you. Missed the poison immunity. Hey, you know what? The thing is, though, man, we got a taste of it, and that's something that not everybody can say. That was a fat... That might be the greatest regular chest that I've ever opened. That chest had a little bit of leg on it, you know? So many jars. <laughs> I know the jars are common. That's oh, hey, a redemption spot. Okay. So, God, look at that all the way down there. And I see that other thing, too. There's no way two spiders just spawned on me right now. And I'm already down three and a half hearts. Ridiculous, I uh, thought I saw, uh, I thought I saw something. Well, we know where a collection is. Pretty close to spawn. That's cool. Kill a boss altar. Gildeds! Hello! Okay, hold on. I need to, I need to clear this room. That is so much fucking damage. That was a little bit risky of me. I thought I had taken a bit of time. It's fine. I'll regain. Get away from the spawner, clear the mobs, go down there and mine it, and we're good. Well, one of those spawners was the ambush. Thank you for that. Nice. A little bit of money back to help with my troubles. Hi, guys. Hello, ambush spawner. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die to this guy again, man. Not my best dash, I'll be honest. <laughs> that lag did me dirty. My miss crit was on display. All right, all right, all right. You know what? Maybe it's just a skill issue with me today. Maybe there's actually no problem with the vaults. Maybe I'm just the. Maybe I'm the problem. We good on these? Didn't get the goblet. God damn it. Big range on that altar though. I believe if a mob runs through an altar, um, it'll keep the... Like, it'll still count, no matter how distant it is from the altar. But hey, at least we got some vault plate. again. I'm gonna manage to regen up right quick.
Hello, ambush. Disappear quickly now, please, would you? Thank you. Maybe water's the place here. Flat, flat battlegrounds and water. One zombie hide. Very sick. Still just really should not be going for regular chests instead of, uh, instead of gildeds only. So if I don't hit the gildeds, I don't hit the gildeds. Common chests are all over the place. Ooh, nice display. That uh, shulker's already full. Oh, boy. Worth the bringing in water buckets in that case? I'm assuming you mean plural, because there is a water bucket in my inventory currently. Um, oh, that looks good, actually. What are you? Just right your chest. Give me the patty! Ouch. I would like the contents of which that chest contains. Left out that way, right? Yep. Gildeds. Don't be ambush. I don't think you are. Please, dear God. Goblin, come on! Ah, oh, damn it. Not quite yet. Stay heading east. That's a lot of gold. I don't want to go down there for that. But also, I kind of don't because I kind of really just want to focus on... Focus on trying to complete the scav. That would be a silly waste of time as much as I hate to say that. Now, this might also be a silly waste of time, but it'll only take me a couple of seconds and it could give me gear. And that's an extremely important thing for me right about now. That's much more peak time. It's uh, 2 12 a.m. for me, boss. Ouch. There's a chest plate. Thank you for that. Living chests don't need. Don't need the living. This room seems a little bit funky to navigate around, I'll be honest. Dear God, that's very open. Not seeing anything in it though. 13 minutes. Still just need the one epic item that we might just not obtain. And if that's the case, there's not much we can do about it. 
put your chest down there. I don't know. I could be using Hunter to search objectives. But I think I was trying to high roll a little bit on Gildas being relatively exposed from the main room. And if we can't find Gildas that way, then we just hope to find some kind of Omega room or challenge room that can give Gildas an option. Don't know what exactly I'm going to do if I find an X mark. I mean, I, I know exactly what I would do. I would go down there and I'd loot the shit out of that thing. Probably be trapped, but... I'm not saying no to that many ornates in one place. Nice that this is a square vault, though. A lot of room potential. Zero to six, zero to seven. It's not been a uh, pleasant series of events for us in there. Not at all. Let's see those particles. Is that just from... I mean, while well, I see it, there's zero POIs in here. <laughs> I was curious whether that was a drop-off point or not. Just from the hanging stuff, that's all. Mm, man, I wonder if you would genuinely just have more success if all you if you just like went around every single room. Oh, wand. It's got to be a rare item. Hey boys, leave me alone, please. We are also on the edge of the vaults too, so if we scale by all these, we gotta make our way back to west. I see some ores down there. Not interested though. How many points in dash you got? Just one. If it seems like I have more because of the distance I'm traveling, it's because I'm jumping and then dashing. That gives you a considerable greater distance. Considerably greater distance. Stupid wrong grammar usage, man. Favorite pizza? Margarita. Favorite pizza topping would be tomatoes. That's not saying I can't enjoy a good old meaty pizza. I definitely can. But I am a on a zero of both. Wow, okay, there's a good amount of these up here. Oh man, come on. Man! Dang it, dude. I already had an arrow. Jesus Christ. Don't back up too far. Fucking hell, man. Everything's out to get me, dude. Armor's weak. I'm in pain. Oh my god, what? How do you just run through that? This dude's insane. You're done, right? Are you kidding me? I suck so much! Look at this! Uh, dude! Are you good now? No, you're not. Okay, well, thank you for clarifying. That was absolutely not worth it. Oh, boy. See the benefit over there? Not interested right now. I probably should be. I don't care enough to.
Yeah. Not sure if, like, doing the way that I'm routing rooms is good for finding gilded specifically. Just looking for open gildeds, and if not, just leaving. It's kind of also because I'm trying to loot as many ornates that I can that are just out in the open, but yeah, I'm not sure. And this would be a complete dead end. Anything in here you want to run me up with before I just peace out entirely? Alright. I'm out on this. I do think that this would be... Oh, that's one more. Okay, so this next line is where the portal room is. That's yeah, the portal room. Okay. So now we're going west. I gotta go east to get back home. Go east by one to get back home. Don't know if I'll be able to tame a zombie hide and also find a drop off point. It's looking a little bleak. I mean, when a scout is built around finding an extremely rare item, and I just don't think I'm looting the vault properly. Such is life. We are finding a lot of ornate goodies, though. Only one piece of Valkyr so far, though. But hey, just rolling a single ornate modifier shouldn't guarantee you, like, five pieces of Valkyr. Because then just people would make crystals and just only roll for ornate. Did we get a goblet? No. If we got a goblet, I would be, uh, just looting regular chests. And ornates, I guess. A drop off point here. I'm sure, I went to this place specifically. I just, just kind of hoping that it would lead me somewhere. No gilded. Pretty sure I got baby zombie chasing me. Four and a half minutes. Not a lot of time. Offhands are rarer than main slot here, yes. Idols and shields are the rarest items in the game by weight. They both have equal weight. In that rarity, but yes, they are the rarest thing to find. This son of a bitch is gonna get me killed. I swear to God, he will, dude. Drop jar for experience? I don't think that's how that works. I don't think you get partial experience for dropping off one or two items. I think it's everything or nothing. Can you find trinkets at this level? Yeah, I found a trinket from a, uh... Or I got one from a scavenger crate. Didn't necessarily find it. I earned it. This is another reason why I'm saying it. The scav that I had earlier... Had to have been busted, man. I went through significantly less rooms on this than I did on that scav, and I found zero drop-off points. Craziness. Actually kind of insane. Might just be a little butthurt. But you know, it just seemed, it just didn't seem likely, you know? Was the burger shrinky you got? Plus 50% vault experience, and it had 16 uses. And then it had no more uses. And it's funny how that works. 
All right, we got a dead end here. That's back home for me. Hey, bud. <laughs> yeah, so you're doing the Lord's work right now. <laughs> Navigate the vault correctly. We'll just chalk it up to that then. Did not find the trinket. Hit how many uh, of the crates did we get? Four gildeds. Two rare, two common. I mean, it's not a lot of gildeds. It's kind of expected. 56 chests open, four trapped. Understandable. All right. Abo, see you in the Gladiator Arena. I'll go ahead and knock out the sub arenas while I'm eating my food. Does the rifle work again? Seems to be working on mine. Heard the portal activate before I could take off my headphones. Guess I ain't going to bed. Oh. What the fuck? Wait. What kind of busted ass arena am I in right now? What well, streamers are on the server? Just me today, boss. At least right now. I don't know why everybody was fighting themselves in the last... Was that just that one arena? That was weird. Go, Kara! Alex versus skin. Curtis takes it home. You're. Well, two zombie brains from living chests and uh, an Omega chests from uh, Jesus Christ. That being said, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, I don't think I see one. No way, man. Damn. That would have been 12 living chests, and that probably would have been zombie brains knocked out. If it was going to be any good job of it, it would have been this room. Alright, I think on that, no way to part. Okay, so that's a north-facing vault. Good one. North-facing vault. And we'll figure out what we're doing in just a moment. Yeah, we're going to need a... We're going to need a lot of goodies. I'm seeing all of the... Cracked, or it's like a tile deep slate. And it looks like a, an altar of some kind. It's like tripping me out a little bit. So yeah, what do we need? We need ornate, regular, gilded, and living. And the contents of those are all very difficult. I'm not exactly sure about what's going to happen this fault, but I'm not sure if the, uh, I'm not sure the scab's getting completed. And the limitation of me getting into another vault is a cactus farm that I haven't set up. I just gotta sit and force myself to do a little bit more infrastructure, man. Because I'm already getting to the point where I don't have the materials to be able to make the crystals. And that kind of sucks a lot. It's kind of not a great feeling. Uh, we got anything going on here? Experience altar. 12. Blank seal. I'll take it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where did you come from? Please leave me alone and never talk to me again. So we went east, I have to go west to get back home. Got it. I've completed one vault. I was scabbed the other day. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Are you kidding? No portal room in this one either, man. Two duds. What do you have in here? Just regular chests? This is the entrance to downstairs. I'm not going through that. Tight little corridors with those kinds of mobs deal that damage? That's a death trap. Yeah, maybe I just need to learn how to loot rooms a little better. Because on the surface right now, it just kind of seems like... Some scavenger hunts are just going to be nearly impossible without Omega rooms. But there's a part of me that's like not wanting to go downstairs in these vaults to check for like little pockets of... Uh, Points of interest that could be living chests and gilded chests if they're not immediately visible. I just go into the next room. And I don't think... I don't think that that's the play. At least it's not shaping up to be the play. Good idea to spiral? Yeah, I don't know. On paper to me, it doesn't seem like it's going to be worth it, but this whole line, I'm going to check the up and down of every room. I want to see if it pays off more. I 
Oh, sugar that spawner, please. Okay, regular chest, regular chest, regular chest, and whatever's over there, probably a regular chest. Okay, so nothing here. Tucked all the way back there, are you? Can I get down there from this angle? I can. Drop off point. Hey guys. Not trying to loot this, exactly. I'm trying to see what's back there. Oh, I need zombie hide. Hello, buds. Got a little ambush spawner here. Give me about 40 seconds, please. We got gold piles here, and the one thing that I don't need an item from is a gold pile. Gonna take him though. My coins. Come back to me, please. Thank you. Structure agreed. I also thought that was pretty cool. Said I was going to check all the locations. Uh, doesn't really seem like there's a lot going on here. I'm just entirely wrong though. We got a kill altar. Figure out the pathing, guys. Whoa! From where? Oh, from over there, I see. What's more you need? Oh, jeez, I didn't even proc. There's some gildeds tucked away in there. Come on in. That's just me not respecting knockback distance right there is why I got hit on that. I need to be better about that. 12 silver's not bad from those piles. Hey, buddy. One more little spawn. Back away from the spawner range. Oh man! Hey, come here. Not exactly. See, here's the thing, man. I know, like, the memory powder is a unique and, like, cool item. But in terms of. Altars. I didn't even go and get the gills. What the hell am I doing? Oh, hey, bud. I. 
<sighs> get better at the game, man, or something. I don't know, dude. Should have already spawned, and I should be able to get in here and do this. Need red scroll. Did not achieve. I'll just seem a lot better last season. It just seems like there's not too many items that are unique to altars right now. What are the good items? You either get a an idol, right? Like that's the omega roll. Or you get a blank seal, which is good. What else is there? Oh, I guess we're gonna find out in a second, aren't we? Stay away from that spawner. I guess runes are a good thing too, yeah. Runes can be nice. What are runes for again? Runes will guarantee a room that, uh, to spawn in your vault when you apply to a crystal. Oh, Kelly, did you have to add the death part in there just to do them dirty like that? <laughs> I either just saw aura, meaning I'm about to get a migraine, or some type of spider that just fell down from- Oh, it's the same room I was just in. Oh, cool! I was just in this exact room, it just has a different layout and POI. It's kind of cool for comparison's sake. Uh, what did I need from here? I need the zombie brain? Nope. No zombie brain for me today. Uh, da, 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 don't need that. Thank you. I think a spider is synonymous. Teach me more. Finding too terribly much. Is there a vault a scav vault now? No, but there are a good amount of them. This would be a dead end room. Son of a bitch, I'm dead. Oh, I'm I've fucking died. Oh Christ alive. Hey, let me alone, let me alone, let me alone. Let me alone, let me alone, let me alone, let me alone, let me alone! Don't get stuck on the- Is he trolling? Is my streamer trolling? Oh my god, he is. Yes, sir. Odds. 
Moderate's horse? Yeah, the room doesn't really offer anything except compressed blocks. I haven't taken the time to go in and loot through the room to see if the compressed blocks are super worth it, but... Where's my compressed netherrack? Did I put it away? You better believe I did. How are you already spawned? You don't look like an elite. I mean, I'm not even gonna... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't feel... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Alright, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, spin on me. Sure, go ahead and do that. Like, they get knocked backwards from you? I hit him with a... Did that ghost just take knockback? I thought they physically couldn't do that. <laughs> I've been on every... Room on this side of the vault. And I have... None of the items that I need. Other than maybe I would have been able to get some zombie hide and purple mob essence. I probably have the purple mob essence. Thorns, I, I know, chat. The joke is that I hit them a million times, they never take knockback, but this time... I'm just, I'm just playing up a little joke, that's all. So we're behind the vault exit right now. Got it. Where are you up there? Are you something? Death, that's what you are. Lost your feather falling? No mana because of all the healing I'd need to do. So checking things around me isn't it's possible. It's just not super great because then I'm off of healing ability. Mobs up there, I really just don't want to fight. I don't know, man. I don't know if that death kind of burned me a little bit, but... Just feeling like right now I don't really know what to do. Any fight that I go into, I know that I'm going to wind up taking a ton of damage from shit like that. And then I got to heal, and then I'm out of mana. And I can't use my hunter effectively, and if I go around using hunter, then I'm going to find spawners, and the spawners are going to duck me down on HP, and then I'm going to get low, and then I'm not going to have any time to loot guildeds or stuff, because I have... I'm physically unable to obtain... An Omega from an ornate chest, two rares, or epics from a living chest. An uncommon from a gilded chest.
The odds are just stacked against me, man. I can't use my hunter ability. I have no mana. Now I can. The second I leave and I'm spamming it. I was about to just dumb brain and go and do that. And you know what? Maybe I should. Blatantly, I know you're not just blatantly disrespecting right now. I don't have time to do that. Of course I run into you now, man. I don't have time to loot, even if I physically do not have time to loot this, even if it's good. I physically do not have time to loot this. Alright, that's the back end of the vault room. See if I can slam out a little ornate before I just vanish from the vault for a bit. Oh my god, of course it's rampant. Or this type of spawner. You don't take any knockback. You just hurt a lot. Just give me the vault gear and get out. Give me the vault gear, let me get out. Keep spawning the mobs in the pipe. It's fine by me. In my gear. All right. Pipe Zombie did not have a great time. Thoughts running through my brain. You want to be loading? Feature has been found in since we started, by the way. Just haven't been found yet. He is exclusive. Wait, Sky, are you talking about the... What's it called? The challenge crystals? Fuck it, we ball. Wild afterlife and rotten. No kiwis here today. West facing vault. Sup, mobs? Oh, that damage felt significantly nicer already. Damage not changed. What level is this crystal? I guess I probably won't have to do with anything. What's that up there? Oh, it's just that. Oh, how I have not missed mob spawning in the middle of... <laughs> in the middle of the hallways. And he Whoa, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up.
My dash wasn't charged. New block palette? Yeah, this is the uh, speedrun palette. It's pretty cool, huh? I see you right there. You thought I wouldn't. What did I just see over there? Absolutely nothing. Hundred percent are pretty big for this. I've been considering swapping out of it. I need it or swapping into it. Oh, well, speaking of, all right. Oh yeah, it's wild, huh? Meh. This is my damn. Oh, damn. Leave me alone. All right. Um, please don't kick my ass too hard, please. Ow. So snowballs, man. Where the heck are you going? Well, don't go down there and do that. Hey, watch out for the cleave. Oh, damn. Hey, calm down. A man is low. A man is low is actually insanely not ideal. Why are you going up there? Drop down. You rat. Chill out. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh! Now I got 50 seconds to find the exit. Bro, I've gone down like 17,000 rooms. I'm gonna get one tapped in a second. My man's not gonna recharge for like half an hour. That was fun for a bit. Once it's dispatched to you, I can restart the server and hopefully no crash. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. But yeah, uh, so, so on to the change that you're about to test, because I actually want to do some stuff as well. Uh, I, I think we've had a really good discussion here, though. I mean, I could just go live and have this discussion, then I'm not losing any of my own time. <laughs> but, uh, go live and run a vault with me then, man. Come on, dude. Are we running it together? Oh, I mean, I don't want to have you lose your own time by being on a call with me right now, you know? Like, I don't no, no, I, lo time. I love being on a call with you. I love being on a call with you. I'm a weird guy, right? So I know that I have... If I want to stream today, I have to start, like, really soon. Otherwise, it would be, like, a one-hour stream. So... You're not uh, a weird guy. You're just scheduling properly. Which, actually... You know I what? Actually, in the Twitch streaming world, yeah, you are a weird guy for doing that. No, I, I had planned in my head to be live 24 minutes ago. Uh, but...
regardless, I mean, it may crash now when you go in, so I don't know if I should be. Oh, live for God, that. speed. I'm going. <laughs> Let's see. It hasn't crashed yet. All right. Hey. Let, let me. Yeah, you go in. I talk about changes and then uh, uh, I can I can go if you. Oh, I get the voiceover. Yeah. Let's go, baby. All right, no crashing so the thing yet. We're testing now. Wait. There's no patch notes for this yet because it wasn't supposed to be like patched like we patched it now. Okay. But the thing uh, we're testing, first of all, the teams, vault. teams are more uh, evened out. And then you're going to see a lot more rare structures, hopefully, PYs. We have increased the amount of rare PYs, more gilded, more ornate, more living. Uh, that's not to say that there will be only those, but mm. there, there will be more. And then, of course, the spawners. Holy, that guy, that guy is <laughs> hitting me. Why did he hit the... Why did he... Okay, he was very fast. Don't die That's me. been about my average experience with almost every Vault Dweller. Mm-hmm. Lance is fast. That was just a little bit of a... bit too leisure hit there. Okay, so... So, the main change with... Like, there's a big overhaul with Ambush spawners here i'm just i just want to confirm that the patch actually works and i haven't really seen you i already see some before. gilded down there in a spot where i don't feel like i normally would yeah we did a big overhaul on spawning spots uh, i think there's proc two spawners at once so, okay this ambush spawn, uh, this spawner by the gilded is not an ambush spawner it's this man it's a 14 second delay spawner so. Not exactly doing the best at demonstrating good vault gameplay right now, I'll be honest. It's fine. Yeah, we are, I'm seeing some interesting things here as well. Jesus Christ. With... <laughs> it's a good amount of skill lessons. Oh yeah, loot tables have been buffed a bit as well. This is a very positive patch if it's working. Uh, was that an ambush spawner, that sand pit there? Um, I don't know. You keep moving. I'll keep moving, yeah. I'll try to spend a little bit more time here while I see if I can find an ambush. There's another gilded in the same spot. That's cringe. Same same room as well. Don't forget I have stream delay. <laughs> There's more gilded and living. Okay. That's a normal spawner with a living at least. Yep. Oh. Eight months is a huge pag moment. Nice, so you fended oh, off the box. Oh, oh. What damage was that? Two last hits. There's an ambush. One mob and then it looked like two. Oh yeah, okay, then uh, that's not how they should work, so I don't think that's what it was, but I think it was one mob at a time, that's how they work now, and then they're free after that. Can you go to some common ones, just some wooden chest ones? I want to sure. see if you see the ambush that only spawns one group. It should be spawn only one group and then disappear immediately. Did this spawner die? No, it's a regular spawner. Okay. I need root tables. I agree though, the damage is still a bit too high, a bit too spiky. I don't like the, I don't dislike the spikiness. I I the base the base may still be a bit too high. Spikiness referring to the possible crit chance? Mm, I don't dislike that. I think that's that's always been Vault Hunters, and it's important to keep mm. you on your toes. We have we have worked with we have worked with it in a different way this time. We have crit hit mitigation, so you can get right. on armor. Right, yeah. So like part works. of part of the conversation that I was talking about was like so the amount of damage that I'm taking from mobs right now you'll notice that I'm basically out of mana and that kind of prevents me yeah. from doing much else with the game right now like until right. that mana goes back up mm -hmm. that just creates that little stalemate where you know like ambush spawners didn't really help 
All right, here's the ambush. The... Okay, so with that right there was one mob at a time in three waves. Nice, nice, nice. So patchwork, patchwork. Yeah, that's cool. the new, that's the new uh, epic or rare plus uh, spawning spots, and then you don't have to deal with the mobs. That felt a lot better from what we did. I mean, Maybe compared to the old ambush, that felt pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, we need to find the the. There should be a fifty percent of all wooden chest PYs should have like. It's a throwback. On a wooden right now. Should spawn only once, many of them. Yep, that oh, broke yeah, the spawner this... as well too. Only spawn once and broke it. Yeah, nice. 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 All right. I mean, as someone pointed out in your chat, mana region is 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 a stat. Like like you can focus this down on vault gear. Mm -hmm. You said something very interesting early in the season. You said like uh, in your stream, you said something like this item rarity and item quantity basically means that everyone has to go for it. It's the best option. Uh, yeah, that's right. Unless you instead want mana, like they they're there's mana you can get or there's protection you can get uh, in terms of health and stuff. So. With prefixes and suffixes, we have made sure to like let the player focus on what they need for their playstyle. You could argue that when you say, "Look at me, Eskal, I can't do anything because I'm out of mana now," um, I could I could counter you by saying, "Well, Pete, you could go back and make a brewery and go in with potions." Like, to be fair. True. Um, I think my comments were that, by the way, was for the archetype. I don't think I I don't feel the same way when it yeah, comes it to armor yeah. because I agree with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do agree with you on the mana versus armor thing. Uh, but there's also a trade-off with archetypes, right? The, uh, yeah, but but I see your point. I see your point, and I, I have thought a lot a lot about it. Uh, mm. I mean, like I said, hypothetical. It just seemed like there was one odd out of the um, yeah. yeah, 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 out of the bunch. But that's all fifty anyway. How does the PYs feel though? Much more rewarding. This feels significantly. Yeah, the rewards feel better, and also I just feel like I'm able to navigate through a scavenger at a better uh, nice. Non silk fetch right there, but how do I not have a? Oh, I brought my fortune instead of my silk fetch. The scaling there. I wonder if that bone shard that you have there is a scaling issue, or if it's just very unlucky. The cracked script is correct because of the amount of gold tiles you break. Uh, there's a chance every time you break a state. Ouch! I think I will shut up. <laughs> Are you okay? Maybe I'd wait to go live for a little bit of scale. Oh, there's a break there. Okay. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Uh, panic calm. Panic calm. If it makes you feel any better. Even with the break, I'm still navigating through scavengers better. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty significantly bad break, though. That could be data loss. Anti tag. Um, that just looks like normal wall ending. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay, okay. So this entire end got broken. Why does why did this not force a crash? This should have crashed the server. This gal's talking quieter right now. That's why he sounds quiet. <laughs> Unless his actual talking is low, then I can turn him up a little bit. Small volume up? Gotcha. He's on 2%, 200% blank. It's fine. I'm trying to figure out what went wrong, Pete. Don't be quiet for my sake. I'm just chatting a little bit, that's all. Oh, okay, sorry you muted, I didn't realize. All good, all good. Oh, baby zombie wielding a sword, that's the best thing I wanted to see today. Oh, the swords don't add any damage. Shouldn't. Oh no, baby zombie, maybe. Yeah. Alright, screw it. God bless.
mana regen pots do sound good? Hmm. Had you thought about that at some point? Adding potions you can get from loot and vaults that would regenerate like 10 or 20 mana on drink. Uh, active mana? Yeah, just like it's an item. Uh, no, sure, no, okay. I don't want that. Um, yeah, with with mana, I think that it's important that to think. Sure, it may need some tweaking still, but and I think the tweaking should come from vault gear. Maybe maybe the values in vault gear needs to be higher, but um, it's a brand new thing, and and also like it shouldn't replace the need for other things. It depends on how you play the game. If you play very passively, you do not need a lot of mana regen or mana. Um, like H bomb, for example, he doesn't care about abilities. He goes only for talents. Uh, whereas if you ha like me, for example, I I'm I'm skipping dashing because I want to have the mana for healing, but I'm not running out of mana either, like you are. So something you're doing, I'm not saying that it's a you thing, but something you're doing is different from how I play it for sure. It does sound like a skill issue, though. To be fair. <laughs> Am I the problem, Isco? No, you're really good at the game. I, I, speaking about which, I should say that we are playing on Vault Difficulty Hard, or Expert. Um, so I've heard. Where, whereas in the release, like, mobs uh, will do probably 50% of the damage you see in Power Slams. We're trying, on this server, we're trying the high end of Vault uh, Difficulty. And I'm sure everybody on the server loves that choice. No. <laughs> I, 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 I gotta scale it somewhere. I gotta have a baseline somewhere, though. Hmm. And also, there's casual mode in uh, the public release, which I believe 80% will play on anyway. Hey, so. big man. Did I fix it? They shoot yet? No. Cringe. Enjoy your free XP. Ah! Well, they may oh, not oh, shoot, oh. but they deal some fucking damage. Uh, what the heck? Man? Was that a max roll on oh. the crit there with, <laughs> with the values of scale? That's amazing. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea, but I'm glad he didn't shoot. <laughs> I don't know. He's got an enchanted bow. I'm interested to see what that does. Oh, it doesn't do anything. It's just a uh, desync vanilla issue. He doesn't actually have a bow. Elite skeleton. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! They are the highest damaging mob in the game right now. Mm. They're more damp. They do significantly more damage than boss. Interesting. Yeah, I'd hope so. Elites need a uh, rework anyway, because they are just free. free Agreed. Estates. Agreed. That was a few um, waves. I'm a bit skeptical. I'm a little bit worried, though. What up? Uh, I need to do some... Um, Need to do some testing. I don't know why that vault stopped generating. And I'm pretty sure Hellfire is not gonna help me with this. <laughs> because he doesn't like when we patch like this. Anything else you want me looking for in here? No, I'm just uh, curious to hear your statement, uh, minus the crash there. The the vault generating like that is a crash. That's like an internal crash in the vault code. Okay. And that's uh, why you were saying that it should have crashed the server completely instead of even allowing that to happen. It, it would have been better if it crashed the server completely, because now I'm worried that it's ruining some data. And stuff. But what's your uh, feeling then on how the PYs... Um, we haven't touched damage here yet, don't forget. So the navigating already feels a lot, honestly, more fun. Um, the ambush spawners now honestly seem easier than standard spawners. Because, like, you're getting less mobs. Well, maybe not less mobs exactly, but 
The spawner breaking on its own feels really nice to like not have to go in and worry about breaking it yourself. You just knock out a few mobs and then you're pretty much done. Yep. Um Good idea. So that couldn't have spawned a worse mob at that moment in time. Oh. <laughs> Pete needs to oh. Pete needs to clip when I when I when I call him out. Well, now what do you want me to do here, buddy? You are taking a lot of damage though. I wonder if I mean okay. Here's actually an interesting thing, Pete. Hmm. You are probably one of the best on the server, but I would never end a pearl to a PY like that. And you, you almost died. I also normally wouldn't either. In, it, in the okay. existence of ambush spawners being a thing, I would not do what I just did either. <laughs> and I've just come up to the point where you got the mob trap, but yeah. Um, where you end a pearl in, I would, I would never do that. So I'm, I'm not going to think too much about that. Understandable. Yeah, we can write that one off as science. in this fall. I definitely did not. Or you might want to craft a quiver. I have one in my inventory. What are you talking about, brother? Okay. Yeah, wait, I'm just... I can't solve this now because then I won't be able to do any content creation today so after this vault um, we will revert this change and uh, search for the solution Understandable. But, uh, to wrap this to wrap this up uh i did not watch your stream i came in the first time when you said about the skeleton so it's funny that we kind of had the similar thing identified in regards to amber spawner if you feel like this solved those issues that's kind of what i'm curious about um forget about the damage dealing for a second we're talking about like mob density and all of that stuff right the mob density was yeah um i think just mob density overall was a an issue with the uh, ambush spawners before might have just been because mm -hmm. of the frequency of them too i felt like 30 percent was pretty significant because with the way that um vault navigation kind of had to work before you needed to be okay that's an unlucky group response you need to be kind of cautious that you didn't proc two spawners at once. So, like, you kind of scale around the vault a little bit more carefully so you wouldn't have, like, two different waves of mobs coming from one angle. With ambush spawners being a thing in there, it just became significantly more difficult. And, yeah, it was just hard to navigate around because of the amount of mobs you had to take out at once. Especially, like, also because ambush spawners have a range. When you think that the ambush spawner's done and you're backing off and killing them all, then you can just go back in and it spawns two more waves on you. And that just, that cycle continues. Yep. Um, this that's definitely addresses that, that's that. That's a kind of a, that's a, that's a cool skill gap thing, right? Where you overtrust yourself or something like that's quite interesting. Suppose, yeah. The room that didn't spawn, was it a tunnel that was blocked off at the end of the tunnel, or did it just it was at the end of the tunnel, yeah. the room off? It was at the end of the tunnel, okay, tagged, yep. good, thank you. And you sure it wasn't the starter? I mean, I see, I see an error in console, so it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the starter. It was also two, uh, two tunnels, one lane over from each other, so it was a larger, uh, yeah, yeah. whatever word you would call it. Yeah.
Is that west facing vault, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, mm, mm, mm. Can you not okay. cheese the room anymore, bro? If someone says cheese to a strat, I'm one more time. I'm I'm gonna put you in the octagon, brother. But okay, so so what's the conclusion? We feel like ambush spawners like this is better, where they come like one, two, three, four, break, uh, and they are one one mobs uh, every time. And I would then... definitely want to play around with a couple more vaults like this before I give like a concrete opinion. But on the surface level, this is miles better than previous. Mm -hmm. Then watching this, I feel like the uh, movement speed of the dwellers are still a bit high, which is kind of concerning. Agreed. Uh, but it's concerning because mathematically, right? Nerd-wise, right? There shouldn't be... Like... One out of... Four, four cases out of 14, they should be fast. And it doesn't feel like it's like that. And they shouldn't be that fast either. So four that cases is out of concerning. 14? Mm. But they should be fast, but not faster than you, but not not that fast. That's what's concerning. So if it's like every three out of ten, then and nearly every third or a fourth, I feel like what will probably wind up happening then is if you have like in the past ambush spawners where three of them spawn, one of them is going to just bolt toward you, just based on probability, and that'll just kind of overshadow the other ones that are just chilling back there because that one that's bolting toward you just knocked down six of your hearts um sure but but the the speed increase we're talking about four percent at max four percent faster than the player max which doesn't feel like it that doesn't feel like four percent faster walking or four percent faster sprinting um good good point i don't know i don't know how that works I'm just changing the movement speed. Okay. Because if it's sprinting, uh, then... Yeah, like a player sprinting toward you, that's going to be fast as hell by default, you know? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's definitely, like, whenever the player movement speed... Um, it's a percentage of the player's movement speed. Movement speed is your base walk speed, including your speed bonus. Oh, okay. Um, the same thing that the potion effect speed does. It multiplies your your speed with whatever it is, 20%, 10% mm -hmm. per level. I don't know. <clears throat> interesting, though. Interesting. Thanks for watching the stream and stuff. Today was uh, pretty solid. We got this done. I just saw camera. So, like, realistically, we didn't get, like, too much done, but, like, we ran vaults and stuff. Um, infrastructure soon, probably, hopefully. I mean, I'm starting to get to a point, like, with kelp and everything, where, like, I could definitely... Yeah, I could definitely use some farms, so... But we got digital storage set up, and it's fucking sick. I didn't realize how easy going it was going to be for a thing that costed two knowledge, but yeah, I'm happy I slammed down with this. Also saying that the vault... You know, honestly, like, with the way we're navigating, I know the... Like, I'm navigating vaults a lot better now. I'm not doing that, like, full backtrack thing that I did for, like, the first week straight. I'm actually, like, navigating vaults properly now, which I guess took a little bit of uh, getting out of nerves and also just adjusting the new season or whatever. That type of deal. Um, then I was a good stream.